Welcome to the Asana Kitchen Quick Recipes, Marichi Asana A. There's Marichi Asana A, B, C, and D. We're gonna be looking at A today, but they're all based on the same principle, which is basically a squatting position. So that the feeling through the hips, the spine, is that you're in a squat. And then the variations of A, B, C, and D come from that foundation. That's the feeling, as though you're squatting on this foot, even though the hips are down. It's a squatting feeling. So the left leg is extended, the right foot comes back to the outer hip, not in here. So it's out here, the right arm comes forward and internally rotates until the palm faces up. So notice that you want to spin like this and then reach around and get the armpit as low down the shin and thoroughly wrapped around as possible. So when you get the hand around behind you, the palm will face out. Roll the left shoulder back, externally rotating, and catch that left wrist. The right sitting bone will be off the ground in this. Then breathe in, look up, and exhale, come forward eventually to touch the chin to the shin. And as you work the posture, you're internally rotating the left leg and planting the right foot and bringing the right knee forward. You're keeping this shoulder loop alive, rolling back the shoulders, keeping the elbows bent rather than straightening. Notice the position of the hips and that feeling through the hips is a little bit of a rounding or a flexion, which is part of why it's so challenging to get really forward in this posture. But it's also one of the advantages of this posture because you can get that feeling of the coccyx, the tail curling under and anchoring and enjoy this little bit of a rounded back feeling as you forward bend. Okay, then to come out, breathe in, look up, and there you have it. You are attempting to get this arm pit very low down the shin. The, and the lower you are, then the easier it will be to go deeply forward. But it takes a lot of flexibility to do it. So in the beginning, you may stay up higher, way up here and bind up here just to be able to do it and to be able to get this grip. And then slowly work forward. And again, the right sitting bone is up and so you take advantage if you need to, if you're tighter, you may need to bend the knee a little bit and lean to the left slightly. So you'll actually be canted off left in order to get the spine out over the left leg. And, and then as you work the posture, you kind of correct that lean back to the center. If you're, if you're tighter, you're gonna keep your arm up to your, higher up your leg, and then when you reach back, you may need to catch a tie. Okay, so any little bit that you can get yourself feeling forward is what you want. And that, like I said, you get it by bending the knee, by leaning to the left, by letting this sitting bone come up, and keeping this bind not too tight. And slowly to develop it, you cinch up on the bind, you straighten the leg, you correct your lean back to center until you can deepen your posture. Thank you for joining me for the Asana Kitchen Quick Recipes, Marichi Asana A.